Second round of the Deutsche Elektrofahrtmeister. Our third and final junior road tax heat gets underway. And the grid is as follows. Tim Gerhardt once again will start on pole position alongside Ruby Jones, Rafael Renhofer. Followed by Eliska Babikova and Kai Helitz, representing the Czech, Czech Republic, and Kai Helitz from Belgium. Bruno Mulders and Lukas Schoenmakers representing the Netherlands complete row three, with Christian De Klein and Nikita Genzer on row four. Max Knappen and Valentin Klus complete the top ten. Petra Babikova and Thomas Straubin row six. Thomas Martins, Matisse Turlo row seven, with Carol Schultz. Uh, looks like Mikkel Pedersen might not be taking any further part in this afternoon's proceedings, so Magnus Pedersen will start ahead of Maurice Schmeis, Theo Eriksson, Kian Agassade, Gilles Clouet, Maximilian Angelard from Poland, Austin Lee, Adrian Labuda, Fahin Mega, Nick Gerhards with Freddy Spindo and Rafael Gwiczak. Well, it looks like Spindo hasn't appeared on the grid either, I think. I'm not too sure why. So 26 out of the 28 drivers set to go into battle for one final time this afternoon seven minutes plus an additional lap set on the timer red lights are ignited on the starting gantry So Tim Gerhards and Rafael Renhofer will control the pace one more time. And then we will find out tomorrow who will be in the respective grid positions for both finals. They split. Head into the tram lines, revs rise, and it's a clean start. We're off and away in racing as Renhofer hits the front. Quickly followed, looks by Kai Hilatz. As now... They head their way into turn four for the first time. Drivers trying to make it through at the moment. As now the top five were quite literally line astern as up the inside goes Lukas Schoenmakers on Kai Hilitz. Up into second goes the Dutch driver. Gerhard's now down into fourth place. Just behind is Eliska Babikova in the 2.96. Now the 201 of uh, Valentin Klus tries to shut the door on Christian De Klein, but he gets through. As now De Klein tries to go up the inside of Gerhards, but Gerhards doesn't let him pass through turn 13. So Henhofer has a clear lead of over six and a half tenths of a second. As now multiple drivers trying to change positions looks like Tim Gerhardt has got up the inside of Christian De Klein Valentin Klus trying to go up the inside of Bruno Molders who makes the move then it's Nikita Gensu who bumps Molders from behind and then you've also got I think that might have been the 238 of Magnus Pedersen also getting involved and that was through, four, uh, through six and into seven so Mikkel Pedersen confirmed as a non-starter some of the other drivers languishing in the back part of the field, which includes the likes of Maximilian Angelard. Oh, there's been contact. Oh, two carts involved, and the some carts are having nowhere to go. Five carts off of turn 12, stricken, literally on top of one another. It carambolaged very, very quickly indeed. So one of the drivers being pulled in back is... Austin Lee, I believe, double waved yellows off of turn 12. I think that's Austin Lee being one of them. Trying to keep an eye out for what the other cart numbers are. Possibly the 266, yes, of ba Petra Babikova being involved. And there is another driver from JJ Racing that has also come off, work, uh, come off badly in this. Looks to be the 248 of Max Knappen. Warren Megas now pulled into the pits uh, according to the timing screens as now this has again changed the dynamic of the race. 
This time Sean Marcus leads ahead of Renhofer. Willis in third. Renhofer takes the lead. Willis tries to go up the inside of Sean Marcus, but then gets passed by Eliska Babikova through turn four. Willis trying to go through, but it was compromised. There's now Sean Marcus battling away as Babikova trying to get past Renhofer for second to try and mount an offensive on Lukas Sean Marcus. Willis now rounds out the top four. Christian De Klein in fifth place. Sixth is Valentin Klus, Tim Gerhards and Bruno Mulders ran out the top eight positions. And then Magnus Pedersen. Yep, so uh, Farin Mega is a confirmed retirement. Max Klappen, Petra Babikova and Austin Lee won't take any further part in the race. But now Sean Mackers has a bit of a gap. He has nearly half a second of an advantage ahead of Eliska Babikova as the 2.55 of Carl Schultz tries to go up the inside of Matisse Turlo. It looks like it's, he's made the move and then Thomas Martins has also tried to get through and also has done so. And just behind them and just keeping an eye on what's going on because it looks like quite a few drivers out of regular positioning. So Sean Marcus, Eliska Babikova, Rafael Henhofer is now, well, Kai Willitz stuck his nose out there up the inside of the 231 through the exit of turn 12 towards turn 13. Gets a good run under the gantry. Gets towards the inside and gets past Renhofer before the apex of turn three. Renhofer counters, but Willitz keeps it pinned to the outside. Still holds on to third place. But now the battle really heats up as Babikova goes up the inside of Sean Marcus, through into turn six, gets the lead. Now Helitz, then Hoffer and De Klein, literally line astern for the top five. Two minutes and seven seconds, plus an additional lap still to go. Valentin Klus not too far behind this battle, and if they keep on fighting, the 2-0-1 from RS competition representing Germany will have a chance to strike as will Bruno Mulders, as will Tim Gerhards, Magnus Pedersen and Carl Schultz round out the top 10. So we have 23 drivers still circulating, which is being rounded off uh, by Freddie Spindlow, who had two great races earlier on today, but it hasn't gone so, this, uh, this time around, it hasn't gone much better uh, than he probably would have hoped. As up the inside, there was a move through, as now, a little bit of... Uh, Toing and throwing outside of the top 10, which involves Nick Gerhards, around about 16th position. So quite a few drivers around, I count four, four drivers and who is leading them at the moment. And that is the 285 of Theo Eriksson on the Cosmic Chassis. He's ahead of Nick Gerhards, Nikita Genser and the 212 of Thomas Straubin. Leaders now going through turn three. Eliska Babikova still leading ahead of Lukas Schoenmacher as Kai Rielatz. Uh, Rafael Renhofer, uh, well, Rafael Renhofer running out the top four positions. Christian de Klein is closing. Valentin Klus, Tim Gerhards, Bruno Mordels. Magnus Pedersen. Carl Schultz now ahead of Thomas Martins, who's up into 11th position. And it's Matisse Turlo, Maurice Schmeis in the 210 from Germany, rounding out the top 13 positions with Theo Eriksson and Nick Gerhards rounding out the top 15 positions. As now Gerhards gets, uh, gets closed in on by uh, that's Kian Agassade from Germany in the 225, teammates in the Kinta Genza. As now, Sean Macker is trying to close. Felix is quicker than anybody on the circuit, 50.720. That time around, after the completion of lap number eight. We're on to the penultimate lap, and now Sean Macker's back in the lead. Babikova, Helitz, Renhofer, Decline. We'll get one more lap after this one. And this is going to be interesting to see who is going to hold station and who is simply going to go for it in the final race of the day here for Junior Rotax. Penhofer goes ultra-defensive on decline. 
who then tries to attack up the inside through turn 12. The Dutch driver gets through. Then Valentin Klus trying to get past Rafael Henhofer will get the inside run going into the next corner as uh, Kai Hillitz came out of the corner a little bit slowly. That Well, I'm just looking. Hillitz, no, it's Sean Mackers. Sean Mackers drops the fourth as Hillitz goes up the inside of Mavigovic to take the lead through turn three. Going on to the final lap, the points leader now decides, I want a victory too. And absolutely flew past Eliska Babikova is up the inside of Lucas Schomacher's ball clashes wheels go it goes Valentin Klus very haphazard there from the German and that compromises the Dutch driver in the 202 who now drops behind Bruno Mulders but with three more corners after this one Lillitz has just got to hang on for the victory. Babikova's already had a win today, as has Christian De Klein, who is looking menacing. Babikova goes towards the inside, through towards the final double right-hander. Babikova's got past Lillitz. Christian De Klein could make it a three-way run to the line. Who's going to get it? It's Lillitz. Lillitz takes it ahead of Babikova, and De Klein running out the top three, who were covered by 0.225 seconds at the end of that drag race to the finish. Rafael Henhofer takes fourth ahead of Tim Gerhards. Valentin Klus rounds out the top six. Mulders ahead of Lukas Schoenmakers who completes the top eight with Magnus Pedersen from Denmark and Francis Carl Schultz in the 255 completing the top ten. Thomas Martins in 11th ahead of Matisse Turlo, Maurice Schmeis, Nikita Genza and Theo Eriksson rounding out the top 15. Thomas Straubin 16th ahead of Nick Gerhards. Kian Agastade, Maximilian Angelard, Adrian Rabuda, Rafael Kvitschak, Freddy Spindlo, with Gilles Cloé being the 23rd and final driver classified in that race. With a non-starter from Mikkel Pedersen, from what I understand, have been medical grounds with Max Klappen, Petra Babakova and Austin Lee eliminated on the very second lap at turn 12. And Farin Murga having a retirement after the very first lap.